good morning. Uh, again, good morning for me. <laughs> uh, day 15. Here we are. Mr. Miles has become the star of the show. <laughs> We're out at Foster Creek. Uh, for those who didn't see the video where we were out here last week, Foster Creek is a great little pocket of the national forest. Super close to my house. Um, not many trails, but it's great for a short, easy day like today. Yesterday, if you're just catching this video today, uh, I had a long run. And uh, so today is just an easy day, like I said. But what I wanted to get into today is uh, active warm up. Getting yourself ready for the run. Um, so, <clears throat> had a busy day yesterday, kind of give you a little more background after the run. Um, did a lot more than I had anticipated doing. I cleaned the gutters and our our roof is pretty sketch. So, cleaned the gutters and mowed the lawn and got rid of the leaves on the lawn. Uh, moved some stuff around the garage. Hung a chandelier for my mom. <laughs> so I was up on the ladder for a while. So a busy day. It was good though, I mean, like I talked about in my video yesterday, you know, just wanna be active after the long run. Obviously rest, but you wanna get that blood flowing again. So, woke up this morning feeling pretty good. Got a good night's sleep. Um, plenty of rest. I think I got a little over seven hours sleep. It's pretty good for me lately. Got up early, got some, some work done. Um, I stayed pretty hydrated yesterday, so feeling pretty good this morning. Had my daily harvest uh, smoothie this morning with organ protein powder and some uh, athletic greens. But uh, got out of the car. Cold morning. Ooh, cold morning. It's uh, 31. We got out of the car this morning, and uh, legs were a little stiff, not too bad. A little tightness in my hips. So I knew I needed to kind of warm up. So my physical therapist, Miriam, who's on my podcast, and actually we'll be recording another episode tomorrow on Cadence. Um, she recommends doing not like hip. Well, if you do an active warm up, and I'll talk more about what that would mean. Um, but you know, a walk warm up. Just 10 to 15 minutes of walking. Um, kind of get the system moving, blood flowing, muscles moving. So I didn't kind of feel up to a, an active flash dynamic warm up this morning, which I'll talk about that now, I guess. Active warm up. Um, yeah, it can be a hike, um, but left foot. Good boy. Um, a dynamic warm up would be active movements jumping jacks, squats, lunges, uh, side lunges, marches, uh, stuff of, of that nature. Um, I learned it um, from Ben Thomas, he's the uh, distance coach out at Oregon. I had the luck of doing a volunteer assistantship under him while he was at Virginia Tech. So I learned the active warm up. Um, and then when I was coached by David Roche, I learned his banded warm up. He's got a good YouTube video for banded warm ups. And on my channel, you can find the active warm up that Ben had us do. I made a video of that. So 
just search active warm up on my YouTube channel. You'll find that. And I created a banded warm up routine as well. So you can search banded warm up routine. There are a lot of different ones out there. Some really good. Um, I think it's Jason Johnson or Jay Johnson. He has one called Myrtle. You can find that on YouTube. It's a little bit more core mobility. So uh, check that one out. Really good stuff. Um, but yeah, the active warm up could be some good strength exercises. Uh, I like the banded stuff because it does warm you up and provides a little extra resistance and strength to the hips, core. So, um, but you can do those, or like I said, just a hike, which is what I decided to do this morning. Just kind of a little hike with some brisk pace, just kind of warm up the muscles, engage the running muscles. Um, so you can mix it up. Do uh, on your recovery days, just do a nice easy hike warm up, and then on your workout days, do like the active warm up, and your regular run days, do one of the banded warm ups. But it's great to get you know your muscles moving a bit, get them warmed up before you get running. So check out those. Uh, YouTube videos, I will post them in the description if you want to check them out or use them. If you have questions on them, don't hesitate to reach out and ask. Um, I was looking ahead. My schedule, Patrick Regan puts on training peaks like I use with my athletes. And uh, this week doesn't look too bad. I've got another treadmill incline hike after this so we'll be uh heading home and we've got about 20 minutes 16 percent incline about four and a half miles an hour um so that's about 1400 feet of gain if i remember correctly but uh no core strength today um, mileage for this week somewhere 60 65 building back long runs bumping up to 15 to 16 a little bit of vert so growing back and actually feeling good just taking today nice and easy just like I talked about on Saturday today's recovery day so couldn't get my heart rate monitor to link battery was dead yesterday for my long run so put a new battery in this morning but I couldn't get it to connect so I have to play with that when I get home didn't want to mess with it it was too cold <laughs> so just listening to my body do another shuffle up I guess enjoying my time out here with my pup so Another great day in the mountains. I hope you guys enjoy yours.